So this is the Impress Effects Soya, and we're going to be making a patch today. We're starting completely from scratch, meaning there's not even an audio module, meaning we can't hear anything. So first we're going to do that. Very simple, press anywhere on the grid, and let's start with the audio input. Select, down here I'll put my audio output, select. So here's my input, left and right, and here's my output, left and right. But I'm not going to plug anything in yet, or connect anything. I'm going to add another module, a delay. So here are the effects. Delay mod, select. You can also change the color of each module if you want. Still, we can't hear anything. That's because we need to make some connections. So at the beginning of each effect module, you will find the audio input, and at the end, the audio output. Simply hold each button together to make a connection. So here's to my input, and to my output left and right. So now we should have sound. Here are the settings for our delay, time, mod, depth, mix. with a little more of that modulation. That was just one effect guys. Alright, let's add some more. I'm going to select another empty spot, add another effect module, this time a reverb. Let's do that ghost verb. And now we need to connect our imaginary patch cables once again by pressing the tiny buttons together. And same thing with our output. I turned the mix down on my delay so you guys could hear that verb isolated. Very nice long decay on that reverb. Let's bring that delay back in. Let's add another module. Let's do a chorus. Make that first connection, connect our output, and here we go. going with our profit to maximize tweakability. Shout out to CZ Sounds for sending the profit over. Bypass to the right.
Let's add one more module to this patch. Let's do tremolo. Tweak our sounds a bit. Let's turn our filter down a bit. And here we are. So what did you guys think of the Zoya? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really enjoying it. It took me a while to um, actually get a video out with it. I've had it for a while, I just hadn't had time. It looked kind of intimidating at first, but after messing with it a couple times, it's actually really straightforward. Even naming a patch is really intuitive. Um, I feel like it's a lot of muscle memory, and I really like that in a piece of gear. I'm also really looking forward to the Eurorag module version, which is the Euroboro. Um, I don't think it's out yet, but I hope we get on the channel to try out because this little piece I feel like it's becoming an addition definitely to my little setup and this isn't just an effect module like you can do modulation you can use this as a synth voice we literally just look at like one of the things that this thing can do today so as I'm learning to use it I'll share that with you guys along the way thanks for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and if you guys like these videos consider checking out my patreon it's where you guys can get exclusive content all of my music art etc that's it for today guys and I'll catch you in the next one.